Hello everyone, suppose you are running an online business and you want to allow your users to find your products based on various criteria, then creating a searchable database is the best option for you. Moreover, a searchable database can be used in academic research, library catalogs, website content management, etc. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a searchable database in Excel. The first question occurs, what is a searchable database in Excel? A searchable database is an organized collection of records that can be retrieved based on a specific field. By inserting the field, the database should allow end-to-end users to pull out the relevant information as they require. Now, let's talk about the database we want to create in this section. At first, we have the name, ID, CGPA, and the filter option in column B, C, D, and E. Our main target is to create the filter column first and then create a searchable database with the help of it. So, we are using the Microsoft Excel 365 for this tutorial and without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to combine filter, is number, and search functions to create searchable database in Excel. To do that, we have the E column where we have got the filter section. We'll use the combination of functions to at first filter the names and then we'll go for the filter to worksheet where we'll insert our searchable database. So at first, let's go for the E5 cell. In the E5 cell, at first, we need to insert the filter function. The filter function filter a range or array. So at first, we'll go for the three parameters, array include if empty. We'll go for the array section and here the array section is B5 to B16. After that, we'll move on to our next section include. Here, we'll use the isNumber function, which will basically check whether a value is a number or not. After that, the value section of isNumber will insert the search function. The search function returns the number of the character at which the specific character was found. Now, we'll move on to our find text section. Here, we'll go for the filter to and here we'll select the B4 cell while we want to get our searchable database. After that, we'll insert the comma and here we need to get the range within the text. As we have selected in the filter option, the range of B5 to B16. So we'll write down the B5 to B16. Now we'll move on to our next section, which is if the value is empty. If the value is empty, then we'll show the result of not found in this section and after that we'll go for the double quotation and end it with the banding bracket now if we click the enter button then we've got our perfect filter in the column e we'll move on to our filter to worksheet here in the b4 cell we want to insert our searchable database at first we'll go for the data tab and here we'll select the data tools and go for the data validation if you click on the data validation, then you will have data validation dialog box. In the settings section, you'll go for the list option, but you can select any of this case. But as we are trying to get the result for a searchable database, so we want the list here. Next, you have got in between and now you need to go for the source option. As source, you need to go for your data sheet according to your need. So you'll write down the filter option here and now you'll go for the E5 cell as you've used the filter function from it. Now, after using this section, you'll go for this hashtag to make it useful for your current database. If you click the OK, then you will see that here you have got the drop down. Now, in the drop down section, if you click, then you will see that you have got the names according to your wish. You can go for any of the names according you want to show in this result. As I'm trying to get the result, so I have shown it here in the database. So that's how we can use the combination of functions to create searchable database in Excel. We want to create searchable database by using VBA code. To do that, we'll take the help of our previous method in the filter workbook. 
we'll go for the filter workbook and here we have got the e5 cell where we have used the combination of filter is number and search function we'll select the e5 cell and go for the formulas tab and select the name manager now you'll get the name manager dialog box if you click the new then you'll get the new name dialog box on your screen in the new name dialog box at first we'll select the name and we'll name it properly according to our wish in this case i will write down the name as drop down list as our wish at first we have gone for the name now we'll go for the refresh here in this section we'll go for the first selection of the e5 cell then as range we'll use the column sign and now we'll go for our index function the index function is used to return a value or the reference to a certain value within the table or range after that we have gone for our next section where we'll select the range here you have got the e5 to e16 range in this case and in our next section we'll go for the count if function count if function counts a certain value within the range within a condition now we'll go for our first selection in this case e5 to e16 now if it's fulfilled then it will show question mark here and after that we'll go for the double bracket and click the ok to get the reference here you will see that in the name manager section you have got the drop down list according to your wish now close it down and go for the vba sheet here at first we'll go for the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab then go for the file section and in the options you will get the excel option section while you'll go for the custom ribbon and now in the main tab section you will select the developer tab to open the developer tab here now we'll go for the developer tab here and in this case we'll go for the insert section as we're trying to get the drop down so i'll select the active x controls now we'll go and select the range where we want to get our value so at first we have set the value in this b4 cell and now we have embedded the combo box one here in the combo box one we'll right click on the mouse and select the properties to open the properties section in the properties section at first you will go for the alphabetic section where you will go for the auto worksheet where you will select the false option now in the next section you will look for the linked cell in the linked cell section it is empty now now as you are trying to deal with the b4 cell in the left side so we'll write down the b4 here now in our next section we'll go for match entry in the match entry section you will see it has been selected as one but we needed the from match entry none now we have selected all the list now we'll cut it down and look for our main sheet in this section we'll go for and insert the vba code now after that we'll select the combo box one and right click on it and select the view code to open the visual basic editor here we have already private sub combo box one change section now we'll write down our code according to our wish as we're trying to get the combo box one so i'll write down the combo box one dot now i want to list full so i'll go for the list fill range and in this list fill range we'll go for the drop down list so we'll equal sign and go for the drop down list here so we'll write down the drop down list we have named just before in the initial phase of this method after that we'll go for the next section enter button we'll use the me dot combo box one which is have been already showing the result and now go for dot drop down so write down the drop down here so here we have got the drop down in this section we'll select it and now here we have got the perfect code as we need this whole code will check the combo box and it will return the value as we have desired and set the searchable database now if we go for the section and click on the run button then it will see that you have got the perfect searchable database in this section so that's how we can easily create searchable database by using the vba code 
So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at xlm.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.